Hi, good morning everyone. It's time for a new pattern at pattern-collections.com. Don't forget to put the dash or you end up in the wrong place. Um, just wanted to remind you that there is a place for donations um, from PayPal to donate to the website. Um, it just helps um, Ina to run this website. It's expensive to run and um, she puts it out there for free for everybody. So if you have a, a spare little bit of money to help her out, that would be appreciated, especially during this time where we're isolating and people aren't going to work. Uh, if you are still employed and you still have an income, please uh, just click on that PayPal button and um, it will take you to a donation page where you can donate uh, 5, 10, 20 or any other amount and you can uh, choose to make it a monthly donation if you are um, able to do so. So please, please look at that. Okay, thanks. Um, and that doesn't go, not one penny of that goes to me. I'm not, she hasn't asked me f to uh, to talk about this. I just took it upon myself to uh, mention it just so that, um, you know, if you are enjoying the website, if you're getting good use out of it, if you are, it's a resource that that really um, speaks to you, um, you know, support it. Um, there are thousands of patterns on this website. Did you know that? There are, there are well over a thousand, I don't remember exactly how many, uh, they've counted once, I don't recall, but there are lots, lots and lots and lots of patterns on this website. Okay, so um, I know you're going to see this starting at the end of March, beginning of April, but you know that's how I always am. I'm always going to be a little behind. I am now at this point where I'm almost a full month behind, which is fine. So you're going to see the prompts for March in April and then you'll see the prompts for April and May and so forth and so on. Um, the theme for the month of March is underwater so if you want to um, think about underwater as you're drawing um, go for it. Some of these uh, patterns are going to be ones that we have visited before because um, they just are. I tried to pick as many patterns as I could of ones I had not done or ones that I wanted to revisit. Um, this one is one I have done. Right here, there's there's my video from previously. AAC, um, Mimi has also done it. So you can look at those videos. I'm gonna do something different today. AAC is, the AAC means Aura Aura Connect. And that's what you have to think about when you're drawing this particular pattern. So the first thing you're going to do, you can make a guideline in green pencil if you want. You don't have to, but you can. Then along that guideline, you're going to um, put circles, alternating top and line, bottom line up and down, up and down, up and down. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room in here. You're going to want to have these uh, lines kind of bisect in between here. So make sure you have enough space in there. Don't put them too close together. So then step number two, you're going to go from the bottom of, just pick one, start with one. You're going to go from the bottom of one of the circles and you're going to aura you're going to aura and then you're going to connect. You see that's how AAC is. Aura, you know, aura that one, aura that one and connect. So it's a, it's a set of four dots. Aura, aura, connect. So you're going to go to the bottom of this one to the top of this one. Again, aura, aura, connect. And then You're going to do it again with the ones that you missed. Bottom of this one, aura, 
Aura Connect. Aura, Aura Connect. I think she drew the step out in this way um, just to make it easier to show. But when I draw, when I've been drawing it, I've been just going here. I've been, I just start here and I go and then I do the next one. I don't skip it. I don't do every other one. See on this sample, you, you skip this one, you do that one. You skip this one, you do that one. Skip this one, do that one. Um, that's not how I've been drawing it. This is a pattern I have done before. So I'm going to kind of maybe do something different just to spice it up a little. And then once you've got step three done, then you come back and I find it easiest to st do start at the bottom and work my way backwards this way. Start at the bottom, work backwards. Start at the bottom, work backwards to connect these. And then again, the other way around. Start here and work backwards. Start here and work backwards. So, um, and you could turn your paper around. But that's the, the way to do it. Here's some samples where it's thin, where it's a little bit thicker, and where it's very thick. I think I may do it even more roundy, where these come up more. My auras, we're going to see what I can come up with. But that is the pattern that we're going to do today set my phone over here. I've decided to do it on a dark piece of paper that's not black, it's dark brown, but I'm still going to do it on dark and I'm going to um, sorry, I had to turn off my phone. A lot of, a lot of rearranging of schedules happening since uh, this whole virus thing has happened. Um, my niece is trying to reorganize her wedding that was supposed to come up at the end of May. Um, they're working on one, one of her venues dropped out. So now they're trying to find another venue and they may have to change the date, but they're not sure yet. So since it's the end of May, beginning of June, she's hoping that she doesn't have to move anything. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't like going into the corners, so I am going to make myself a border. And since I'm going to draw in white, uh, I want to make a border in white, but I think I want my border to be in pencil so that it's not super, um, defined and I can kind of maybe smudge it a little. Something like that. Just light. And do you think I should draw? That pencil line? No, I don't think so. We're going we're going to not do that. So, um, where do I want my circles? I think I want my circles to go in here, something along that line like that. I can see that. You probably can't. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, the light can catch it. You can see that. And then I'm going to put a circle. I'm going to make, make them fairly far apart because I want to have room to put my auras more swoopy. And since this particular pen, it's a Uniball Signo Broad, is a pretty big um, nib, I, I want to uh, not have them too close together. I need plenty of space. This 
something like that. And they're not straight. I know they're not straight. I did a curvy line. And now I need to remember that I'm using this pen because this doesn't um, dry right away. It is a pigment ink, but it is like a gel pen, so it, it doesn't dry right away. So I need to remember that. So I'm going to go from the bottom here. I want to aura this one. I want to aura this one. And I want to connect to the bottom of this one. No, to the top. Excuse me. I want to bottom, aura, aura, top. Okay. So let's do that. Bottom, aura, aura, top. See, I've made it really swoopy this time. So then we start here. And I'm going to go from the bottom. Aura. Aura. Top. Start here and go from the bottom. I want to aura, aura, and you won't see the next one. All right. Now I want to go the other way. So now I want to go from the bottom of this one around and connect. And I'm going to go ahead and go way up. Bottom of this one, come around and connect. Okay. Bottom of this one, come around and connect. And then that one would go off into the distance over there. Now I'm going to turn it around because it's easier for me to see it that way. This one would be from the bottom and then aura and then aura. The next ones. So it's going to come from the bottom, bottom around and connect. Bottom, around, and connect. Bottom, around, and connect. And then this one would come from the bottom of there somewhere. It would come up and it would connect. And then this one again. See this line? It's going to follow. This one's going to go like this. So this one, every one of these circles has a line that comes across this side. And then there's one that connects there. So this one, in order to finish it, has to complete this path like that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I like how this is turning out. That's basically the pattern right there. Now we can embellish however we want. I'm thinking I might want to do some kind of I don't want I don't know what I want to do here. Can I put black on there? Or red or does the brown show other colors? Ugh, dogs next door driving me crazy. I thought they were in the house because it was raining. Can you see the red? Not really, it kind of looks just black. <clears throat> What does the black look like? I mean, obviously the black is black, but yeah, I like that. Okay. I want a little bit more contrast. Uh, 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and fill these in with black, leaving a little spot where I can put some white like that. Needs a bigger pen. Where's my fatter pen? This one. That's better. What's really annoying with my next door neighbors now is they are home. She is a school teacher. So she and the children are home. Schools have been closed. They're in social isolation mode. And yet they put the dog out and they just let it bark. I, I can't understand their behavior. I just can't. How they are so unconcerned about neighbors and how they're so unconcerned about their dogs. The, their dogs are bored. There is nothing out in the yard for their dogs to do. They have no grass. Their whole yard is cement. Um, they have no shelter. There's no dog house. There's no uh, soft place for them to lay. No wonder the dogs bark to go back in because the environment outside for those dogs is just dreadful. Um... I just feel so bad for the dogs, but they're driving me absolutely crazy. And yes, we've talked to the neighbors. It doesn't seem to do any good. <sighs> okay, so now what do I want to do? I think I want to emphasize this shape here. So I think I'm going to come out and around like this and I'm going to fill that in. It's harder with the the gel pens to fill in these so you know they're not always they're not as pretty and as smooth as when you do it with a black pen but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways and then I think I'm going to do something in the background with the pencil I need a, I need a bit of tissue. So the end of the, I don't know if you can see that, the end of the pen gets kind of a glob of, of ink. I just wipe that off with a tissue. But that does happen when I'm, when I'm filling in, coloring with this pen. So now I'm going to do this on the other side. Do it this way so I keep my hand out of the ink. So how are you guys doing with the whole social distancing thing? Uh, as of as of the other day. I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing this on a Monday. As of Friday, we had to set up barricades in front of our cash registers to keep our customers six feet away from us as cashiers. But that required then for both the customer and for us to lean over the counter to get the merchandise so that I could scan it. And... Um, yeah, that was ergonomically really bad. And I was glad I had uh, Saturday and Sunday off because my back hurt something fierce from all that stretching um, awkwardly. And I, I, I told my manager, Something's going to have to give because there is no way I can do this regularly, especially not for an eight hour shift and not day after day. There's no way I would become physically disabled by doing that. 
So they're going to have to come up with some other solution. Um, yeah, that's just not going to, not going to fly. And we will see what happens. We're going to be changing assistant managers here, which was already planned um, from before. They're moving people around, and so that's another anxious moment for me. I don't like, I don't like staff changes. They give me anxiety. I don't know this new person, so I don't know how we're going to work well together. I'm going to assume we're going to work fine together. I've worked with hundreds of different people over the years, and I get along with most everybody, but, you know, it's always anxiety-ridden when you have somebody new coming into the equation. I like that. I like how that is bold and stands out. Um... I'm going to go ahead and sign this. Put the name. And then I'm going to put something in the background with the white pencil because I think that would look good. I need to make sure my pencil is nice and sharpened, though. Get that sharpener. like there's a broken tip. You ever feel like there's a broken tip in the bottom of your pencil sharpener right at the tip point? I think that's what's happened with mine. I'm going to have to play with it. I'm going to do this just to give it something else in the background. It's just going to be subtle. So I have a question. How many of you are introverts and how many of you are extroverts? My introvert friends are having absolutely no trouble social distancing. Me and my friends, the, yeah, we haven't got any problems at all with the social distancing because you know what? I would just as soon stay away from people. It's my nature. I'm happy away from people. Um, yes, do I miss my friends? Of course I miss my friends, but am I, uh, anxious by not going out? No, no, I'm not. I have, um, you know, I had two days off in a row and I've got this morning off and I am happy to have had no contact with the outside world. I w I'm happy with that. I have a friend who is much more extroverted and she is going absolutely crazy and she's trying to find places where she can go and see people without being near people. Does that make sense? So like she went to the church garden so that she could garden at the church and hopefully uh, maybe see someone there even though we're not, nobody's there. But, you know, she needed to get out of the house. It's It's just... In her nature to not be home and isolated. I am happy to just hang out here with you guys, be home by myself, uh, just me and my hubby hanging out together. It, it, I could do this all the time. As long as I'm not confined to my bed. When I had my broken toe, I was confined to my bed. That was hard. To, be, to, to being confined where I couldn't move. That was hard. But just staying home, I'm happy. So anyway, tell me in the comments below if you are an introvert and are not having any troubles at all 
staying home, or if you're an extrovert and it's driving you crazy, or are you one of those people who are not following the rules at all and just going about your day anyways? Um, if I could stay home and not work and self-isolate, I would, but that's not in the nature of my job, so I've got to go to work, but um, yeah. Tell me how you guys are dealing with this. Hopefully, by the time you see this, we will have started to return to normalcy because it will have been... Um, by the time you see this, it will have been at least three weeks since the start of the mandatory um, isolation here in uh, my area. So, um, yeah, we'll see how, how life is. But let me know. Talk to me in the comments. Go over to Facebook. Let's have a chat. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Next video, um, I've already planned out for the next uh, one, two, three, four, five weeks. So um, next video is going to be Casper 2. After that, it's going to be Cosmic Flower if you want to look them up ahead of time. And um, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.